The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning on this first Sunday of Christmas, and welcome to this time of worship here at the Congregational Church, United Church of Christ in Tryon, North Carolina. Whether you are joining us this morning for worship, brave or fearful, full of belief or questioning, lost or found, no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are most welcome here in this home of Christ, friends, where we worship the God who welcomes us all. We are so glad to be worshiping with you this morning, and you are invited to fully participate in this time together. Pray with us, sing the songs, enter fully into this space of praise and worship. Now, the national staff of the United Church of Christ put together a worship service for this Sunday as a gift to local clergy, church staff, and church musicians so we could have a week of rest. And so this morning, we're going to share that worship service with you. You won't need a bulletin, but you can follow along with what's on the screen. So now let us worship this morning in a way that will continue far beyond this day and these walls. Let us remember to be the church, protect the environment, care for the poor, forgive often, reject racism, fight for the powerless, share earthly and spiritual resources, embrace diversity, love God, and enjoy this life. From the book of Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered, what sort of greeting this might be? The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I'm a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her, who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Matthew chapter 1, 
verses 18 through 24. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from his sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. Each winter as the year grows older, we all grow older too. The chill sets in a little colder, the verities we knew seem shaken and untrue. But I believe beyond believing that life can spring from death, that growth can flower from our grieving, that we can catch our breath and turn transfixed by faith. The birth of Jesus, Luke 2, verses 1 through 7. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. Jesus, Jesus, oh, what a wonderful child. Jesus, Jesus, so holy, big and mild. New life, new hope, the child will bring. Listen to the angels sing. Glory, glory, glory. Chapter 2, verses 8 through 14. 
In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of God stood before them, and the glory of God shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, God. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom God favors. Luke chapter 2, verses 15 through 20. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. 
When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. Hope you've enjoyed our Christmas pageant. And from all of us in the national setting, to all of you, wherever you may be, Merry Christmas. I'd like to bring a benediction, a, a closing blessing to us all. And so wherever you may be, I invite you to bow your heads in prayer for the blessing of God. May God, creator of all that is good, in whose image you have been fashioned, May Jesus Christ, God's only Son, who every Christmas reminds us of how he came to incarnate and embody the love of God, and may their Holy Spirit be, rest, and abide with you forevermore and fill you with the love of our Redeemer Jesus in this Christmas season and throughout the coming years. Amen. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright round yon virgin mother and child. Holy infant, so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly Noche de paz, no 
noche de amor Todos duermen en derreto Y los pastores en el campo están Y las estrellas en el campo In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise ones from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people, Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road.
and God showed us salvation, that blessed Christmas morn.